Hello friends, today I'm going to present a short uh, PowerPoint on the modern furniture types and materials commonly available in the market. You know that furniture can be a product of design. It's always a product of design. It's considered as a form of decorative art. Actually, furniture makes a space more functional. It is uh, designed or evolved as a solution to everyday problem. And though there are a lot of different furniture, just like that, there are a lot of materials also in, involved in the making of furniture, such as metal, plastic, wood, etc. In a house, a family's combined needs for furniture, furnishings, and equipment. And they let you express yourself, though mostly these things are collected from the available markets. And each room will be expressed in a different way based on the functionality that is expected. And there are a lot of natural and man-made materials used for furniture and furnishing. And what are the factors affecting these furniture designs? Know that furniture reflect the rapid changes that happened in the society, in the lifestyle. And these uh, materials which are used mostly varies depending on the easiness in maintaining. And earlier it was uh, purely craftsmanship and later it became industrialized and based on mass production. But definitely it should provide comfort, convenience for the user. So mostly furniture evolved from time immemorial and people still adapt the previous designs to the modern furniture also. And the use of these furniture pieces actually improve the visual quality of the interiors. Let's see the materials used for making furniture. This range of materials used for furniture design include the universally accepted or ever favorite wood. And along with wood, we can consider other natural materials of plant origin such as bamboo, cane, rattan, wicker and rock. You know, in Kerala, we are very much familiar about rock made out of coir. Just like that, it can be made out of jute and many other natural material, canvas, etc. Even nowadays, people are making a lot of furniture pieces from the water hyacinth, which is considered as a waste material even. And uh, along with the wood, there are other natural materials like uh, iron and a processed iron, which is steel and the different variation or variants of iron such as cast iron, wrought iron and another uh, favorite material is aluminium which is actually the poor man's silver but nowadays it is also becoming expensive and uh, you got leather actually leather is a flexible material so definitely since it is not rigid it requires a backing and glass glass was also used either entirely or as a part of this uh, furniture pieces and the lookalike of glass which is acrylic and there is fabric which is mostly used for upholstery and the synthetic material of plastic the varied forms of plastic is also used for making mass produced furniture pieces mostly machine made furniture nowadays we are more concerned about the eco-friendly aspects of furniture and uh, you you can uh, uh, identify the major eco-friendly materials as bamboo, rattan, cane, paper, etc. Et so let's see about the wood. Wood is uh, actually cut from trees it's called by the name timber, lumber, etc. It's uh, processed, seasoned, sewn to timber and then used to make furniture by means of applying various hardware, joints, etc. And it has to be finished by means of paints, polishes, varnishes, etc. It's worldwide used. So you can make almost every type of furniture out of wood because of its versatility and beauty. It's because what ingrained uh, the annual rings and all when vertically cut, it uh, gives unique grains. You know, different kinds of wood like oak, teak, then uh, mahogany, rosewood. Each can be identified by the color and the grains. So you can see a number of wood pieces. And uh, when you select 
timber you have to be thoroughly knowing the nature the processing the life the qualities required for uh, making the furniture pieces they need to be seasoned properly nowadays uh, they are seasoned very fast there are very uh, distinct classification of hardwood and softwood and the uh, softwood is uh, mostly processed into ply boards block boards etc uh, this type of woods uh, mainly made uh, mainly of pine spruce cedar fir and wood etc and uh, our favorites are teak wood rosewood mahogany etc which give unique coloration to the furniture even without much staining and solid wood is uh, replaced nowadays by the boards uh, high density fibers uh, medium density fiber the veneer and laminate being applied on the top of it to suit the budget or the pocket of the common man and uh, these things since it is processed actually these resist vermin termites etc and uh, additional qualities such as damp resistance then uh, fire retardation uh, corrosion proof all these things are given to the wood by means of extra finishes on the surface now you know cane cane was here in uh, kerala uh, maybe uh, centuries back itself but uh, those rudimentary designs have uh, given way to much sophisticated designs nowadays it is considered cheaper but uh, when a lot of labor is going into it and the processing is uh, really laborious cane is also becoming more and more expensive and durable also earlier it was not like that you can see the traditional type of cane furniture which is comparatively economic plant and bamboo is a very fastly growing grass and its world around it is considered as highly eco friendly material and resilience and hence it is used in construction purposes also you can convert it into furniture pieces rattan is uh, similar to cane it's woven and much of craftsmanship and is there and to add to the comfort we use upholstery foam springs etc to the furniture we can again similar to rattan and cane and it's pretty durable since it is natural it has got much takers nowadays and you can make it into different patterns slender flexible etc so you can see the quite unique and uh, sophisticated furniture it's giving very natural a rustic touch to the interiors hdf and mdf are actually uh, the wood substitutes medium density and high density fiber also boards are there and now when we see the metal furniture metal is very durable it requires special construction methods to convert them to furniture mostly they are preferred for outdoor furniture but still with a good Uh, finishes they have been accepted into the interiors also cast iron is um, uh, see the liquid iron is cast into furniture it's rather heavy and uh, it can resist all weathers mostly it is used for uh, making garden furniture pieces because it can resist moisture and air you can see it's pretty heavy it wouldn't get dislocated that fast but once it is broken it is not repairable irreparable wrought iron is uh, uh, made out of a fine malleable and ductile type of uh, iron uh, which could be it's pliable and it could be uh, shaped means this wires and tubes could be made, shaped into uh, different furniture balustrade etc and uh, it's this lalic type uh, art deco type of furniture is generally made out of wrought iron and it, this is also suitable for indoor and exterior furniture so steel is again another fabric nowadays especially since it can be economically made into furniture which is highly durable and uh, nowadays uh, very different unique shapes uh, finishes etc are given to uh, steel furniture mild steel also is there for which is used for balustrades then uh, headboards etc even solid uh, furniture pieces are also made from stainless steel furniture aluminum it is it is also uh, a favorite but expensive 
but the life uh, life is uh, the longevity is more but uh, uh, what happens is that the look will uh, the first appearance will slowly diminish then the aluminium headboards and uh, uh, balustrades etc and unique abstract type of furniture is also made because of the easiness with which it can be uh, crafted or uh, uh, shaped then plastic plastic is uh, really here to stay though how much ever we resist it plastics are a never time favorite because of the range uh, that it offers in color, shapes, uh, then uh, cost, uh, life-wise, all these things. Uh, see, everybody can afford. See, you want style, you can go for plastic. You want uh, so less costly thing, then also you can go. It is um, uh, rust-proof, uh, weather-resistant, outdoor and indoor. But still, uh, see, the use and throw type of plastics could be uh, avoided much. Thermoplastic, thermosetting, this is the chemistry behind plastics, high density, polyvinyl. PVC is actually, uh, it, was, it entered into house construction in the form of plumbing material, but slowly it started to be used for plastic furniture also because of the durability that it provides. Then glass. Glass uh, is uh, sometimes uh, converted into uh, furniture pieces in block form or it can be used along with the metal and wood very nicely. It, uh, it uh, combines with a different type of uh, uh, other material. So in combination it exists. See, you can see how these are crafted and it can be used as a part of furniture for storage, display, all these things very unique. Leather is mostly used for covering or as an upholstery, and it need a very uh, strong supportive uh, framework. Then only it can be used. And the leather, original leather is expensive, so you can even use uh, synthetic leather. Acrylic is a glass-like material. It's mostly thermosetting. Fabric is there mostly used for uh, upholstering purposes. It's a wide variety in the case of uh, colors, textures, patterns, the fiber out of yarn and fiber out of which it is made of. And uh, the varies based on uh, the, uh, the maintenance, durability, color fastness, etc. Et so the upholstery family, the polyethylene fiber is there. That's also woven into it. It looked like uh, uh, the rattan cane, but then uh, it is very... Are different. Synthetic fiber is also there. Thank you very much.